Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. There has been an update and look at the ore. That looks really good. I really like it. It's, uh, it's really nice. I don't actually know what the update uh, contains really, other than the ore looking different. But I think it looks really nice. Really nice. But today we are going to start looking at uh, getting some uh, roboports automated so we don't have to handcraft them everyone every time we want to put put some down and we're also maybe going to set up some solar panels let's see how many do we have now uh, up here quite a few quite a few yeah and the reason that we have so many is because if we go out on the map, I have been running around putting up walls uh, in a lot of uh, places so that we are a little bit safer. Uh, the entire bottom area is walled off and then I have put up a bit of wall over here, not here, which I probably should have, Look, judging by that attack right there. We survived it, but it might be a good idea to get some walls going up here as well. Uh, so, but over here I have not put up walls at all because we need to expand this way and we need to do so very soon. So yeah, and if we zoom out a bit on the map, let's remove the pollution. We have a lot of fighter bases all over the place and we need to get rid of those. So we need, we're going to have to do some uh, some turret creeping with our lasers. And for that, we need more power. So, yeah. All right, let's get into it. So for RoboPorts, we need steel plate, iron gear wheels, and advanced circuits. So we have steel plate coming up here. We have iron gear wheels over here. All we really need is advanced circuits. So it might be good to bring advanced circuits up this way and then build some robo ports up here somewhere. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's have a look. Where do we have red circuits? And red circuits down here. And we want them to come up here. Oops. Wrong way. There. That's better. And crap. Okay. So this has to be moved over. And can we get down to them now? Yes, we can. All right. And they are on the same four lane thingy, four lane bus as the um, advanced processors. Is that what they're called? Processing units and the steel. So let's do like this. And we'll stick this in there and come up we actually don't need them on both sides of the belt i think let's just double check what do we need most of we need 45 of each so i think we're going to put these on the same belt as the um what are they called? Iron gear wheels. Let's get these up here. And then we'll hook in the iron gear wheels. Just by doing like this. So far anyway. Because we do have more stuff that we need to make out this way right now so this is yeah that's the 
next tier of hmm, assembler. So we can put these here. The global port. This needs to run a little bit differently. So does this. Actually, no, it doesn't because we're probably going to need green circuits later. So we'll do like this. Actually, yeah, let's do this. For now, at least. Stick that in there. Stick a couple of long handed on here. And is it already configured? Yeah, it is. Okay, so because of the materials, I guess, let's just try this. Uh, did I configure it? I don't think I configured it, but anyway, it is configured now. So let's stick a power pole there and some light. And we are producing our RoboPorts. Just need a chest. Oops, not there. There. And we just need a slow inserter. And we need to limit it to, let's say, two stacks. Alright. We're going. Not going to be super duper efficient. Looks like. So I think what I want to do is instead I'll do like this and have a chest here. And limit it to two stacks. And then we'll stick another fast inserter or long handed inserter in there so that the materials will come in a little bit faster. Still not going to be enough to make it go full tilt, but that's okay. I live with that. It's going. So, yeah. Okay, that's RoboPorts. So that was pretty easy. So, let's do some. Of these guys. Let's grab all of them. And I want them on my hotbar, that's for sure. Put them there. And let's. Uh, we don't have room for accumulators right now. Let's get rid of this rock. And that rock. All right, let's see, what can we do with these guys? Do we have access to the substations? Yes, we do. Let's just put a chest down and stick some stuff in that we don't need right now. Those, definitely don't need those. That or that, that. And we don't need all of those. Okay, that gave us a bit of space. Let's make some substations. And let's pick up some accumulators as well. Right, flickering again. Uh, let's just grab three stacks of accumulators, that'll do, I think. Let's get some... Uh, some power going because the light flickering is really really bad put that in there okay so what can we do here let's put down one of our substations where is there a substation there okay 
And if we do like that. That's actually perfect size. And let's do the inside first. There, there, there. And then we need accumulators. And more of those so that works I don't really care that the uh, accumulator ratio isn't perfect we can always build more or something like that right so yeah that works very nicely let's um, let's make a blueprint of that And call it uh, solar power. And then we can put, let's see, on there. Let's do have some, let's just stick one here. And are these, yeah, that's provider chest. We don't actually have any robots in here. Seems like uh, some are coming over there. Uh, let's grab some robots. Uh, come on. Is logistics robots? Whoa, not that many. Three stacks of those. Construction robots and let's just stick some robots in here so that we have them and that's been built. We don't have the substations which sucks. We should set that up for to being built as well. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. Right. So what we can do is we can uh, construction planner. Let's deconstruct this stuff. And the robots will do their thing. So nice having robots. I love it. And we can take our blueprint and stick down some more these. There. We do have another robo port, so let's stick one in here. And that one doesn't have power. Stick one there. And give these guys some power. There. There. And hook it up to the grid. There. Okay, substations. those in. Ah, crap. Okay. Accumulator. There. And substation. There. All right. So that gives us a bit of solar power. Let's see, what do we need to make substations? Copper plate, steel plate, and then bands, circuits. So, we have steel plate there. We have advanced circuits there. 
And where do we have copper plate? Actually, we have steel plate and copper plate there. And is this advanced circuits or circuits? Circuits. Can't see it. Uh, hmm. But we could get circuits coming in from over here and get that producing. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's set up a and tell it to make substations run what happened to my uh, hmm. I don't remember how to oh, there we go and we just need one of those and then we need the advanced circuits, which we have over here. So, do we want to make it double-sided? Maybe. Nah, it's not necessary. There. And we'll run these up here. This is all not very pretty, but we'll make it pretty later. We'll make it pretty later. Doesn't really matter that much. Right now. Right now we just want things working. There. And then we need a passive provider chest. We'll stick there. And how, how long does it take to make these? 0 0.5 seconds. Oh, oops. There we go. And we'll say four stacks is enough, I think. All right, so well, that's working. Let's grab some robo ports. And come up here. And uh, I don't really care that it's on top of that bit of stone. This built. Come on. The hell? There we go. And we can build up further here. There we go. That's a lot of solar power for us. Well, relatively a lot. And it's definitely going to help on our power situation. Well, that is very nice. Have the accumulators and everything is fine and dandy. Could we make an accumulator array? I think maybe we should. So let's stick a substation down. There. I could reach there. And then let's just build one big accumulator array here. work and almost done there we go so while these are getting recharged of course we're using quite a bit of power but Look at that, 23 megawatts from solar panels, and we're barely using any coal or steam engine now. So very nice. 
Very nice indeed. So that fixes our power problems for now. And how are we doing on everything here? Are they getting what they need? They're not getting this stuff. What's this? This is... Batteries. So what are we missing? We're missing sulfuric acid. Let's go have a look at that. Actually, let's do that in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I'll see you next time.